Welcome back everyone. Following the hiring of new head coach Darvin Ham, we are slowly but surely learning what the Lakers are planning to do moving forward. If you did not know, they only officially announced him as their new head coach earlier today. And if you want to watch his introductory press conference, you can check that out on Monday. In addition to that though, we got some very interesting details regarding who they actually want for their head coach, along with how the hiring of Darvin Ham will affect their future with Russell Westbrook. Before we dive into all of that though, real quick guys, I'd like to invite you to join our official NBA Discord. We now have a community of over 300 members in there, and if you enjoy talking about the NBA, the Lakers, or simply being kept up to date with news and rumors, then I highly recommend you join. Now getting back to the video though, and let's begin by talking about who the Lakers actually want to be their head coach. Which kind of caught me off guard a little bit, and if you know who I'm talking about here, it probably surprised you a little bit too. The coaching candidate that I've been referring to is none other than Juwan Howard, who according to reports, was the Lakers number one option to become their new head coach. And given that he has never been a head coach in the NBA before, that might have you scratching your head a little bit, but there is actually a fairly long backstory here. If you did not know, Juwan Howard has prioritized both LeBron James and Rob Palenka. He played with LeBron during his time with the Miami Heat, and then coached him there as well following his retirement. They ended up developing a good friendship during that time, and LeBron obviously came to respect him which would already be reason enough for the Lakers to have him as a top priority. But then when you throw in Juwan Howard's relationship with Rob Palenka, that is likely what made him their number one priority. And believe it or not, they actually played together back in college. And yep, that's right, Rob Palenka was a part of that legendary Michigan team. No, he may not have been a member of the notorious Fab Five, but he was a part of that team. And when you combine the relationship between Juwan Howard and Rob Palenka, along with Howard and LeBron, he definitely got a very strong recommendation to become their new coach. However, it was actually Juwan Howard himself who turned them down. He did not even take an interview with them, and primarily because he had no interest in leaving Michigan. Juwan Howard is currently coaching his two sons there, and it would have taken an absolute perfect opportunity to leave that situation, which is definitely not what the Lakers head coaching job is right now. In conclusion for this report though, I did like Juwan Howard as a candidate for the job, but Darvin Ham undoubtedly met their coaching criterion better, and I am personally happy that he ended up becoming their new coach. But now moving on to how the hiring of Darvin Ham affects their future with Westbrook, and believe it or not, Westbrook himself is actually the one fueling this. Following the Lakers' official announcement of Darvin Ham on Instagram, Westbrook responded by reposting it. Which, although may not seem like a big deal, when you remember that he deleted pretty much everything Laker related from his social media and did not appear to want anything to do with them up until now, I think we can actually read into this. No, it definitely does not guarantee that he'll remain with them, but he clearly is no longer completely checked out either. And when you combine that with the earlier reports of the Lakers planning on keeping him, there really might be something here. In addition to that, many people believe that Darvin Ham got the job primarily due to his ability to control star players and ones with big personalities. He has been referred to as a quote unquote, no nonsense kind of coach, and should theoretically be able to contain and coach a guy like Westbrook, which again, would fit the narrative of keeping him. And with Westbrook appearing to be in full support of Darvin Ham, that may tell us everything we need to know, or at least what the Lakers want us to know. Now don't get me wrong here, I do think they are leaning towards keeping him at this very moment, and I'm not trying to go full conspiracy theorist here, but in my opinion, they are definitely not fully committed to that. Should an opportunity arise to move on from him, and one that would meet their criterion to do so, I fully believe they would jump on that opportunity. Like I referred to earlier this week, a lot of this comes down to leverage, 
and if they appear desperate to get rid of him, they hold absolutely no leverage at all. They are already working against the narrative of Westbrook being untradeable, which is 100% being pushed by other general managers around the league to gain leverage, and up until this point, they have been fighting a losing battle, so rather than continuing to lose leverage by appearing desperate to trade him, they have now turned in a different direction. I mean, who knows, maybe they're actually committed to keeping him, but the smart thing to do would be what they are appearing to do right now. And if they are really trying to gain leverage here, they likely told Westbrook to buy into that as well, which would explain him responding to the hiring of Darvin Ham in a positive way. Now, don't get me wrong here, that could simply be Westbrook doing that on his own, but it was definitely a step in the right direction, both in regard to his future with them and him helping them with potentially being able to trade him. Because in reality, over half the battle when it comes to making a trade is gaining leverage, and a big part of that is controlling the narrative regarding the players being traded. But with Westbrook having one of, if not the worst narrative attached to him of any player in the league right now, that is something they cannot currently overcome. Although, time and different narratives being formed can change everything. The NBA is dramatic, we all know that, and at times, I think we even love that. In order for the Lakers to trade Westbrook without getting taken advantage of, they either have to wait for a different, larger narrative to be formed compared to the one surrounding Russ, or change that narrative on their own. Now, it won't be something they can do in a day, or even a month at that, but little by little, they can do things to help change it, and I believe this was a step in the right direction. Again, don't think that anything is set in stone yet, as it's never a good idea to read too deeply into any one report, and especially when over half of them hold little to absolutely no truth at all. But what you can and should be doing here is trying to piece all of them together, take a little bit from each report, and try to find the connecting dots. Doing that will help you much more than any one rumor alone will do for you, and especially when it comes to the infinite loop regarding the future of Westbrook with the Lakers. In conclusion though, I think the hiring of Darvin Ham is beginning to reveal what the Lakers are trying to do, and particularly in regard to Westbrook. I believe it provides them with more comfortability in keeping him, due to Darvin Ham theoretically being able to handle him better, but also with an opportunity to help gain leverage in trading him. And if they are smart, they have already gotten Westbrook involved in that as well, as they cannot hope to gain much leverage or change the narrative surrounding him without his help. With all of that being said though, that will conclude my thoughts and update on the hiring of Darvin Ham along with the Lakers being able to trade Westbrook. And what do you guys think? Do you think they will keep him, or do you think they will eventually trade him? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.